What is the maximum vertical distance between the line y equals x plus 24 and the parabola y equals x squared over the closed interval from negative two to positive four? Well first, notice any point on the line is going to have the ordered pair x comma y where y is x plus 24 and any point on the parabola is going to have an ordered pair of x comma y where y is x squared. And now if we take a look at the graph below, we're only concerned about the closed interval from x equals negative two to x equals positive four. Notice over this closed interval, the line is always on top and the parabola is always on the bottom. And therefore any vertical distance, as long as the x coordinate is the same, is going to be the y coordinate of the line minus the y coordinate of the parabola. So again, going back up to our ordered pairs, where if the line contains the point x comma x plus 24, and the parabola contains the point x comma x squared, because the x coordinates are the same, the vertical distance, which we'll call v, will always be the quantity x plus 24 minus x squared, as long as the line is on top and the parabola is on the bottom, which is our case over the closed interval from negative two to positive four. Let's go ahead and rewrite this as negative x squared plus x plus 24. And we're trying to maximize the vertical distance. We should be able to recognize v is a quadratic function with a graph as a parabola that opens down because the leading coefficient is negative one, and therefore the maximum will occur at the vertex. But we will use calculus techniques to maximize the vertical distance by next determining the critical numbers, which is where the first derivative is equal to zero or undefined. V prime is equal to the derivative of negative x squared plus x plus 24 with respect to x, which is negative two x plus one. There are no values of x where the first derivative is undefined, and therefore we determine the critical number by setting the derivative equal to zero and solving. For the next step, we subtract one on both sides and then divide both sides by negative two. Simplifying, we have x equals one half. This should be the location where the vertical distance is maximized, and we can verify this a couple ways. Again, we know we have a parabola that opens down, and therefore this will be the x coordinate of the vertex, but if we're using calculus techniques, we need to verify at x equals one half, the function v changes from increasing to decreasing, and therefore has a relative maximum at x equals one half. For this lesson, let's verify this graphically. So on the left, I have the graph of v prime. Notice how the derivative is equal to zero at x equals one half or 0 0.5. Also notice how at x equals one half, the derivative changes from positive to negative, which indicates the vertical distance function v changes from increasing to decreasing at x equals one half, verifying we do have a relative maximum, or in this case, an absolute maximum at x equals one half. But again, this question is asking for the maximum vertical distance, which is the value of v, which we can see here is 24.25. So 24.25 is the maximum vertical distance, which occurs at x equals one half. So going back to our first slide, we now know x equals one half is the location of the maximum vertical distance. And let's just verify the vertical distance that we saw on the graph by determining v of one half. v of one half is equal to the opposite of the square of one half. Notice the negative is not being squared and is not inside the parentheses. Then we have plus one half plus 24 which does give us 24.25. So as a complete sentence, the maximum vertical distance between the line and the parabola over the closed interval from negative two to positive four is 24.25 units. And before we go, let's take a look at this vertical distance. Notice when x equals one half or 0 0.5, 
the point on the line is 0 0.5 comma 24.5 and the corresponding point on the parabola is 0 0.5 comma 0 0.25 and notice 24.5 minus 0 0.25 is 24.25 and 24.25 is the maximum vertical distance over the closed interval from x equals negative 2 to x equals positive 4. I hope you found this helpful.